Warning. The warning has been removed from this highly educational video. And there might be a little bit of science mixed up in this one as well. And before we get going, if you're wondering about my never-ending battle to get my double demonetized Big Spider Attack Daddy video back to being the way it should be, uh, I'm not winning. It seems uh, Google loved to use this video as an ad, but see it as something that shouldn't have ads on it these days on the site. So this paints a very curious picture of today's YouTube. Sorry for the rant, but I believe I have the right to rant on this one. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Well, I've got a Redback Spider living inside the wheel of my Toyota here. It's got its drop down lines coming right down here and as strange as this sounds, I've got a torch here which is powering a solar powered bug because I've got the sun at the moment and I've got the bug caught up on one of the down lines that comes out of an angle. I'm just seeing if I can tease Mrs. Redback Spider out from her wheelie lair. I've been looking for a good method to tease these spiders out, which is mechanical and not using little critters. But what I'm finding is that uh, somehow these spiders know when they're being tricked. They seem to be very clever. Now what I like about this method, as kooky as it looks, is I can change the frequency of that bug by taking the light away from the solar cell that powers the motor that makes it shake. Maybe if I change the frequency of that bug movement, it might fool the spider. And when and if she ever appears and the dead light coming out at daytime, she'll run down from right there. I might be a total idiot trying this at daytime, but I'm just curious to see if I can at least see a leg of her and see if I can excite her a touch. Pretty strange looking kooky bug. I picked it up at a school fair. I think it was a couple of dollars or something. Something that was a fundraiser at my local school. I've often wondered whether redback spiders have got ears because they uh, seem to know what I'm up to when I'm trying to lure them out of their lairs. I've tried this before using this toy here. It's called a nano bug. Hope I've remembered that correctly. It's just got a switch underneath and they run along the ground um, in a strange sort of little way. I don't know if it's going there. We go. It works on my hand a little bit. But there's no way of altering its vibration and the spider, well, I was never able to tease a spider at one of these and believe me I tried a long time to achieve it with this uh, but it never worked. Hopefully my little system down here with the torch and my little bug which has got eyes, maybe the eyes will fool the spider is going to work for me. I'm not seeing a peep from Mrs. Redback yet, they are extremely timid spiders, they are nocturnal. That means they play at night time. We need to be educational these days, sadly, boys and girls. Uh, but it really is a case of how hungry she is and can I fool her? Can I fool a spider's mind, as small as it is? I've just grabbed some spider spray or bug spray, whatever you want to call it. It's not the usual stuff that I use. It's actually a more of a surface spray, this one. Six month thing. Mind you, I sprayed under my car when I had that big red back, and I noticed the red backs come back, and that's all the things that this spray supposedly kills. Most importantly, there is a spider. It might be worthwhile remembering a video that I shot back in very late November 2017. It was of the massive mother red back spider who had built a nest under this car, same vehicle. And it was a very difficult spider to remove, extremely timid spider, and it's the most timid redbacks seem to be the ones that live to the ripe old age of, let's say, three years. That's how long these spiders live for, because we've got to keep stitching educational bits into this video, or this video will be assassinated. Now, the weird thing about the YouTube systems is, I guarantee to you that the video that I'm featuring here, the original video, will be age-restricted or demonetized. That's the way it seems to work. The time when I shot this video using the solar powered bug, it was in March of 2018, so that's around four months after I totally bombarded this vehicle with tons and tons of insecticide after pulling out the giant mother redback spider. Now I'm pretty sure that giant mother would have had egg sacs laid up inside the subframe of this vehicle. Whether or not the insecticide had effect on the egg sacs and killing the spiders is unknown. I do know from my own videos if insecticide touches the egg sacs, uh, it will kill the spiders, and strangely enough, videos like that have been age-restricted and demonetized on this site. It's too much for this site to comprehend. I'm even thinking as I'm making this video, I am totally wasting my time in showing you what insecticides do and don't do to these spiders. 
I'm really surprised that a major pest control company hasn't offered me any assistance and I could promote their services. That would work, wouldn't it? And I dare say pest control companies have access to chemicals that I can't get access to. But what I've taught myself is, via my huge redback spider infestation, is sometimes the best solution is not chemical, but making their homes very uncomfortable to live in. These spiders have a habit of coming back to the same places year after year, and once you understand their breeding cycle, you can come in and knock these spiders on the head before they get to the breeding point of making egg sacs and generating thousands and thousands of more spiders. Well, not that you'd really know, but it has been a fair bit of time I've been trying to do this. Mind you, it is sort of the sun setting time of the day in daylight. The spiders like night time. Because I'm being curious out here, the amazing fluffy cat is uh, under the car. Get those red backs for me, fluffy. Please get them. Well, I'm starting to get failing light here. I'm absolutely sure there was a spider in there somewhere. Uh, I thought my little critter was going to work for me. I've tried everything I could to make this sort of real and I was moving the light round and trying to make the frequency of that thing shake and change didn't work for me. Yes, uh, Fluffy is helping me as you can see, not. I'll come in with the spray now, normally I use a flamethrower but I can't flamethrower my car can I? Well I could, but I won't. And I'll try and get the spray in uh, around up the arch because these spiders tend to be fairly recluse in their little areas up there. Okay, here we go. She may come running out. It's a very wet spray. Well, that's because it's a circus spray, isn't it? This is a may come running out, and she may not. And maybe that's the trouble with using this method because uh, it's a very wet spray, actually. Sometimes the spider just never appears. I see her there. There she is. Wow, she's um, she's quite sizable. I'll just get my tweezers here, and I'll see if I can get her out before she scampers away. Oh, I've just done a good night, sister, and a... Oh, sorry about that, lovey, uh, but your days were numbered. There she is there on the brick there. I can't feed her to the ants. So she's got a nice red back on her, hasn't she? Because she's been sprayed with chemical spray. And I can give her a double good night, sister, can't I? Let me like this. Yeah, so nothing but pests in my place. Dangerous pests far too many of them. So what didn't we learn in this video? Well we learned that that was a waste of time. Uh, maybe if I came out at night and did this it would work but I'm not going to lay next to my car in order. I've already done a night of that under my car capturing that monster spider that I had under here. I'll clean the web away and I think I might have mentioned in that other video when I had the big red back spider under this car often they set up and start off in the wheel area here. They love this area here as a home and they put their drop down webs as you saw out this way and considering it's a surface spray i will go around and do all the wheels hey but i'll be quite honest here i don't have much faith in chemical sprays and things because what i find is even though you spray an area well the spiders uh, seem to rebound and come back really fast this car here got a major spray when i had that big red back under it it was only a couple months back and well they're back again this is the back wheel arch here. There's another web there. I don't think it's red back. Well, who knows? It could be. Everything here is red back, isn't it? And I'll just keep going around and... <coughs> That's the trouble with these sprays. They tend to be a bit heavy on the, your breathing system. That's what I find. Okay, that should do it. Well, that's a spider that uh, came out of that other wheel arch. We could finish on that, couldn't we? ID that spider for me. It's not a red back, but whatever it is, it's dead. Oh, what a feeling. Spider infested Toyota. Before we go, let me show you the logged in uh, front page of what I see when I'm on YouTube. So I'm logged into the site, and this is supposedly being fed to me because YouTube knows what I like and dislike. Okay, we've got some relaxing music. I never go there. I never look at things like this, these fail sort of channels, but they keep getting served up to me constantly. They never go away. Even if I click it away, breastfeeding mum here, if I did a video like that, I'd be demonetized in a flash. I could guarantee it. Uh, Peppa Pig, I constantly get rid of this. It keeps coming back. Maybe you can tell me if you're having the same problems, or maybe it isn't a problem. This is how it works. Okay, I think this would be like faking gay videos, you know, girls with live streams, supposedly camera left on. Uh, wrestling videos always served up to me. I never look at wrestling stuff, although it keeps coming this way. Um, you know, animals like this, animal videos, just that gorilla. 
and there's a dead lion there. If I made a video like that, I would be blasting. They're also they're, they're live now, so they're live streaming. So maybe they're getting around things by live streaming. I don't know what that video is about. Maybe if you know her, uh, Lisa Koshi, maybe she's a good one. I mean, not everyone's bad, are they? Uh, these ones here, what's his powerful JRE? I know nothing about him, so he's being served up to me. And remember, YouTube, Google, I think they know what they're doing here. Okay, things like this. This is a classic example of you know, your bad actors, as far as I know, because you've got this image like this. It's a live now thing. You also notice that they're asking for money here. That's being served up to me, okay? I want you to see what is being served up to me. That, to me, that thumbnail is inappropriate. Okay, that's wrong. Yet, you, you just keep it being served up, served up, okay, uh, late show, blah, blah. This one here, Laugh Out Loud Network, constantly I'm getting rid of this, and constantly it is coming back up. So there's some big push behind that. Maybe you know what's going on there, and if I keep going down here, you can see what's there. Yep, look, another thumbnail there. I don't want to explain what's going on there, but, you know, it's a live now thing, so maybe there are people playing games here. Okay, you know, that's the sort of thumbnails that I thought would, you know, the ones that you're not meant to put up. Uh, Turtles and Thomas, there's a good one. He did a fantastic thing. Let me just talk about Turtles and Thomas, about the uh, Toxic Thomas fandom. A uh, very, very good video. Very interesting what he said, and maybe we'll just uh, leave on that. Great video, Turtles and Thomas. I really, really liked it. 